Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, I am doing a no makeup makeup look. And, you know, you could tweak this any which way you like. Uh, I've been, you know, going through videos and I'm super jealous of everybody that's able to wear uh, their summer clothing. I see a lot of tank tops and t-shirts. And here I am sitting in a sweatshirt in Michigan because it's 55 degrees out. But I know a lot of you are ready for spring summer vibes. Um, and I thought today would be a great day to show you guys what I put on my face during the summer months. All right, you guys, if you're interested to see what I do, please continue watching. And if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of all my future uploads. All right, you guys, so let's go put on no makeup makeup. Okay, so let's get started. I'm actually going to start with my skincare. The makeup that I'm going to use today, which is very uh, light, no makeup makeup. Um, but I do this every morning, no matter what. It's a staple in my routine. Um, I've been doing it for over a year now and see the benefits and I do not alter it. Um, and if I look a little different, I do have contact lenses in, uh, colored ones. They're not prescription or anything. I told you guys I was going to go purchase some and I did. And I'll put the website here where I did get it. And I'll also link it in the description box below. And the company actually reached out to me. They saw a picture of me on Instagram. And um, yeah, they were, I guess they liked what they saw and uh, asked permission to use my picture on their website. And they also gave me a discount code for my followers, 30% uh, off, which I think is pretty amazing. I'll link that discount code in the description box as well. You guys can use it. You don't have to. I do get a small commission from that. But um, these are the gray. And I thought, you know, these look the most natural on me um, for the color. And they also are sending me another pair, which is olive. Yeah, pretty exciting. It's my first real gig, you know. <laughs> So let's just hop into this, but um, yeah, so I am going to do my skincare for you guys because a few of you have asked what I do under makeup. So I do spray my face with a little bit of distilled water. I just fill this up. I got it on Amazon with just a little frosted glass, and I just get my uh, face more hydrated before I go in with my skin products, and I'm going to start with, I always start with uh, the Timeless uh, vitamin C serum. This stuff is amazing. I've seen a huge difference in my complexion since I started using it. Um, it's evened out my skin tone. I used to have a lot of sunspots and I do have freckles naturally. They've gotten lighter as I've gotten older, um, which is weird, you know, but uh, the sunspots came and the freckles left. I, <laughs> it makes no sense, but um, it has evened it out a lot. I used to have a lot of redness. Um, yeah, so I I have to believe this is it, and I will not ever be without this. I actually just placed another order. Um, and Timeless does run great sales, you guys, like 30% off. That's when I buy my products. So um, I usually use about two pumpfuls, and it is super runny. So don't be alarmed at that. And with um, vitamin C, you're going to want to keep it in a darker place. Otherwise, it can... Um, go bad. I have never had that problem, but I usually keep mine in my little beauty fridge. Um, so that's what I do. I start off with my vitamin C and I also use their coenzyme uh, Q10 serum. This is amazing as well as an antioxidant. Um, it helps with collagen. Um, you know, it doesn't create collagen, but it just helps with the electricity in your face. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. And don't be alarmed because it is a odd uh, color here. It's like a yellow. Uh, it's not bad or anything. That's just the color of it. It does not stain your face, but I also go in all over uh, with this as well. Now this is new to my routine. Um, I just wanted to try it and I have been enjoying it. It's through The Ordinary um, and it's their caffeine. Let's see, caffeine solution 5%. Um, and I do put this under my eyes and I have noticed like I just feel like I have less puffiness under there and I just put like a little bit on my fingertips and just rub it in under my eye um bring it up to the side here sometimes if I have extra I run it through here because I always this is a problem area for me as well um so I just uh, apply a little bit under my eyes 
and I'm not seeing that it's interfering with my um, concealer or anything like that. Next up I use is the CeraVe PM and I use this AM and PM. I mean, why get two separate ones? They This one seems to work really well with my skin. Then I mix it with a timeless 100% uh, olive derived squalene and, and it's just been amazing for the winter because I like I said I get super dried out so I usually put about three eh, two and a half three pumps of the CeraVe and then I take the timeless and it's an oil and I mix about three drops in with that and I I actually think it has helped uh, with the longevity of my makeup too which is interesting because you would think an oil would not do that but um, yeah, it, it has really, really helped. And I bring it down my neck. I'll do my chest. Um, you know, when I don't have a sweatshirt on. Oh, Michigan, I do not know about you. It is ridiculous. You know, I mean, we're into May and it's still freezing and I can't even bake it in here and wear a tank top or something just to pretend that it's warm outside because it's freaking freezing in here. And that's pretty much it, what I've been doing with my skincare uh, during these winter months. Um, so, yeah, excuse the hair. I mean, I wanted to be as natural as possible here because, yeah, we don't want to get all fancy you know, when we're doing this kind of routine. Okay, so then I would definitely go in with my eyebrows and uh, to keep it simple. Okay, and then today I'm going to try this product through ColourPop. It's their new um, Tinted Feather Effect Setting Wax. And, and it looks like this, and I kind of played around with it a little bit, and it's supposed to be like, you know, it says tinted, but when I was playing around with it, I really, I don't know about this stuff, but we'll try it today again, and I'm just going to spray it because it's super dry, spray it with some water, and it came with this nice little spoolie, and I'm just going to load this up pretty good. See, and it just doesn't fit in here really well it, the whole thing's a little interesting i gotta i don't know about this stuff you guys but let's just give it a try because i normally would put some kind of wax or gel on my eyes uh, when i do this kind of routine anyway so i'm just going to put this in the brows yeah i'm not seeing any kind of tint whatsoever um but it is giving a nice um lifted effect as you can see here but if you're looking for some kind of tint, I don't think it is. I mean, even if I put it on my finger, you're going to see that there, it's, I don't know. This is interesting. <laughs> I think this might be the only fail that I have ever gotten from ColourPop. I usually love all of their stuff. Um, but I guess if you go into this with uh, the open head that it's not going to tint your eyebrows, I guess it won't be that big of a deal. But I will say, um, after it starts setting down, it does have a pretty good um, stickiness to where it's going to, I believe, stay pretty well. So I'm just going to take the other side and just kind of do this. I'm going to look super crazy right now, you guys, but um, this is what I want to do. Because this way I don't have to put as much liner in my, <laughs> in my eyes. All right, let's just pretend this isn't happening. I also did get their Precision Brow Pencil, and it looks like that. It's just a very small tip, and I got mine in black brown. I will say it's a little hard. If you want to turn it, it's down here. It's not up here, so just keep that in mind. And then what I do is I just go through and sparsely fill in where um, I have no hairs, which is a lot of places. Let me try not to be so close to you guys. Yeah, I don't go um, really crazy with my brows on these types of days because usually it's because if I'm doing this, I'm in a real big hurry, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on my brows or I'm going to a beach or a pool. So what would it matter? But see how it just kind of filled that in um, ever so slightly. And I will say, like I said, the gel itself in that um, from the ColourPop, is nice. I mean, it. I mean, it does have some stickiness. I don't think my brows are going to move too much with uh, that product. You know, it's pretty tacky. You know, um, hopefully it will stay 
like this and not lose its grip. And then I just kind of brush it through. Now I will say, pretty good, it gives it that pretty uh, laminate effect. So if that's the look you're going for. And then if I ever go out of that, you know, where it looks like a little too much, I just take a Q-tip and clean up around that. So that's about it that I'm going to do with my brows at this point. As you can see, it was pretty um, limited effort there. Now what I like to do is just spray my face, bring even more moisture into it. And I'm gonna use my Milani Supercharge. I love this stuff. Nice vitamin C scent to it. So I'm just adding more of that vitamin C to my face. And I just, you know, let that dry up a little bit. Well, we ran into a little uh, technical difficulty. My little light that I have uh, shining in the background uh, overheated. Now that's a first for me. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully the lighting isn't up too bad, um, but we're just going to keep moving on. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer, just a spot conceal, and I'm going to use my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. Um, this is in light beige. I'm just going to go around areas where I do have a little bit of discoloration and uh, just to cover that up. And I am actually going to put some on my eyelids. I know normally never put concealer on my eyelids, uh, but since we are doing like a quick no makeup look, I don't want to, you know, waste time and go into my eyelids with a primer. I'm actually going to use a little bit of sponge here. We are just going for a quick look here. And it will even out your uh, eyelids. So there. Then for my complexion, I go in with the Australian Gold uh, Botanical SPF 50 and it's tinted. And I mix it with the Mil Milani Soft Focus Glow. And it just adds a little bit of uh, glow to my face. And what I do, you know, you're gonna wanna shake this up. Excuse my dogs. Okay, so I put a little bit of the sunscreen on the back of my hand and now I'm gonna mix it with the Milani. And I put about that much. And I'm just using the spoolie um, this side just to mix it on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna go in and put this all over my face. So the great thing is, is it's working as a complexion um, product and a sunscreen at the same time. And it will add a little bit of coverage to your face. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to rub this all in. And the nice thing about that sunscreen, there is a light and a dark shade. And this one actually is the um, medium to tan. And as you can see, it's not that dark, but if you are super light complected, there is a lighter shade for you. And I'm just gonna take the rest of it and apply it to my face, why not? <laughs> you can put it around your ears and put the rest on your hands. So that is what the complexion looks like. Um, and like I do have a nice little glow still. I have slight coverage. That is it pretty much on that part. And I'm gonna go in with my um, sole and this, I still love smelling it every time I open it. Um, and this is in the shade Light and it's their balm. And I use it as a bronzer just to kind of add some uh, color to my face. Right now, I'm just going to kind of sporadically put it all over. And I'm going to go in with a sponge and just kind of tap it in. And then I just go in with the damp sponge and I just kind of even everything out a little bit. I mean, it is slightly damp. I mean, you don't want it too damp because it's going to take away your sunscreen. And since this isn't really high coverage, you know, you don't want to take any of that away. So yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of color into my face. And I've really been liking this Rare Beauty uh, concealer, even though it is too light for me. Um, I have been really liking it. I actually ordered a darker shade for the summer because I really enjoyed it that much. Yeah, because this is a little too light, but even if I have to, I think I could mix the two to probably come up with the perfect shade. And it's not too expensive. I really, really like it. 
So having both shades might be helpful. All right, and I am gonna just set that a little bit under the eye. Then to set that balm down a little bit more, I'm gonna go with my Believe Beauty. I've been really loving this bronzer, which is so funny because I thought that was the one product I was not gonna care for, but it just adds this nice glow. And plus I will just set down that balm, like I said, just a little bit more. I'm going to take the same bronzer and I'm going to put it on a eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to add that all over my lid just to add a little bit of something something. This works so nice as a eyeshadow too you guys. It has a little bit of glow or a little bit of shimmer in it and yeah I I've been doing this a lot actually I've been using it uh, as a transition shade on my everyday look um, yeah so any kind of bronzer will look great um, for this type of look and that's all I'm going to do with that for um, blush I'm going to use the rare beauty um, blush I love this stuff as well I like to put it on the back of my hand then go in with a brush and just kind of tap it on my hand then go into my face and the nice thing about this blush is that you can put this over a powder now the thing is when you do put it on your hand um i will say you probably will use more than you need uh, than just going directly with one dot on your cheek uh, I just feel like you get a better blend this way. But I will just show you. Um, I was in that my last video that I did this as well. And uh, you will see that I just feel that, you know, it just blends easier on the back of your hand. Do you see like the difference here? Um, it just comes out really bright. It is a little bit more difficult to blend in or not difficult it just takes a little longer so i'm actually just going to go in with my sponge i don't have any foundation on this so <laughs> it's probably not going to alter that as much so but that's okay you know it's i will be putting a light dusting of powder over this anyway so i'm just going to go over with that bronzer just a little bit see if that calms that down okay so i want to add a little bit more glow back into my face so i'm going to go in with the rare beauty um, highlighter and just add a few drops here on my nose a little bit here here I want to be super glowy <laughs> a little bit of my cupid's bow and a little bit down there so, and I'm just going to tap this out again you can use a sponge whatever you want to use and I will try with the sponge just to see if it yeah it's a, a lot quicker with the sponge I just love this highlight you guys it is just so beautiful and natural it's just that natural glow uh, that it gives your face it is so pretty okay so the powder i'm going to use is just my uh, cover girl clean and fresh i have not used this in a hot minute um, and as you can see i used to use it all the time because i hit pan um, and i do like it you know it's a nice powder it blurs my pores um you know it just i have to test so many products and then you get stuck on something and you forget about it and um poor thing gets shoved in the back so yeah i'm just setting it down just a little bit just to uh, um keep my oil control at bay this is optional too you don't have to spray your face i just happen to spray my face i'm using the makeup Re revolution my new favorite it's the conceal and define and you will see that it brings even more glow back into my face yeah, I just love that stuff. It just adds that glow. I feel like it just sets everything down, kind of melts everything into my face. Okay, now I'm going to be applying some lashes. You don't have to do that. I just feel it adds a little something, especially if you're going to the you know, pool or the beach. You definitely would not want these. But um, just the everyday look, uh, I feel like it does cut my time more um, than having to put on mascara, believe it or not and um, it just adds that little something because you're you know a little bit more plain than um, I'm used to 
um, and I, I feel like it just adds that little something. So today I'm going to try these. I have not tried them yet. They're by Ardell. It's a 742s. They just look very natural and pretty. So I am going to try these today. And they look like this. And I'm going to use the Lash Glue Liner, which I love because um, you just apply it and go right in with your lash. And I'm using this one in clear. I am not wearing any um, eyeliner. The only thing is, it's kind of hard to see <laughs> where it is because it it's a little bit of white cast, but not much. And then on my lashes, I like to put a little bit on the uh, outer corners here just to help it stick a little better. Make sure to put your cap in in between and make sure to do one eye at a time because uh, like I said, you do not have to wait for the glue to dry. Hopefully I got the right one here. Okay, so these are the lashes. They're super pretty, super natural. And now I'm just going to go in with Essence Long Lasting Black Eyeliner. And I'm just going to tight line my upper lid here. Again, these are all just optional. Even if you're not wearing lashes, it'll just add a little something. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use my Thrive uh, Mascara. And I'm just going to do the base. Okay, and then on days like this, I will add just a little bit on my lower lashes. Not a lot. I normally do not wear mascara on my lower lashes. So I just put just a very minimal uh, application. I'm even taking some off with the Q-tip. Okay, and then I am going to go in, back into the bronzer. I'm just going to add a little bit to a brush. And put just a little bit under here, just to add a little bit of dimension. Again, all of that is optional. And then I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Bear to Comment Lip Liner. Again, you do not have to line your lips. I'm going to use my uh, Catrice Lip Balm, and this one is in Raspberry Cream, I believe. And that is it. That is my no makeup makeup look. And you can alter it, be as natural as you want. Uh, you don't have to do all the steps. Um, but it really doesn't take that much time, especially if I'm not filming or anything. I could do it super fast, probably within uh, 10 minutes. The part that always takes the longest is my eyelashes. And if I'm in a real big hurry, I don't even put anything on my lashes. So, um, but I just feel that you can get a lot of benefits because you're actually just wearing a sunscreen on your face. So you're protecting your skin. Um, it does even it out just enough. You know, I can still see imperfections coming through. Um, so it's not, you know, like a full coverage. It doesn't look cakey at all. Yeah, I just fell in love with both of these products last summer. Um, I came up with this little concoction and I felt like it just really looked nice and I go kayaking a lot so I would take this out on the kayak all the time and use this on my face you know just to even things out and look a little presentable even though I'm out in the middle of a lake somewhere <laughs> but you know me I'm a little extra um, okay so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you got a few good tips uh, on what to use for summer and again, you know, tweak it though any which way you want. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Everything will be listed in the description box down below with clickable links. So you guys can just go to, uh, you know, where the products are sold, if they are available. I believe everything should be available on here. All right, you guys, let me know what is your favorite summer product uh, for your no makeup makeup days. All right, you guys, and until next time.